So now we're gonna go into the snatch. So snatch, everything, right? We start from a swing, that's our starting point for everything. We're gonna come here, just like the clean, at seven o'clock I have my acceleration pull, right? Only difference is, is I'm not pulling my elbow into my body, I'm just falling back, making that pull, let that bell come up. At 11 o'clock, I will insert my hand through, then guide it back to 12, right? It's down the press, same thing applies. Bicep to ear, tricep forward, thumb back. On my way down, I'm gonna turn my shoulder, right? And we're gonna have that deflection again where I wanna lean back, creating space between myself and the bell. And the reason being is now I can shorten that distance from when that arm makes connection with the body. Instead of being right here, falling that, I'm just shorting that distance to which it falls into me. Get that nice connection here. I come back, there's that acceleration pull, thumbs up, insert 11, guiding back to 12 there. So, as far as my vision goes, I'm looking from starting, starting from top, from the drop, you kind of easiest way to explain it. So I'm looking straight ahead, the bell drops. Once I feel the connection, then I can gaze down. I come back, right, looking up, head forward. Straight ahead, once I feel the connection, gazing the floor in front of me, come back up, insert through. Breathing for snatch. You're gonna breathe out on the way down. As it comes back out, let the acceleration pull. And once again, once up top, and if you wanna take one more up top, go for it, right? The more, the more you breathe, right? The more oxygen you come in, the better the performance. So down. So, <coughs> with the with the snatch, I can have I can get a little I can bend under it and stand up. You know, that's fine. Also, right, I mean, get that twist to get in my hips, right, creating that space because I don't want the bell swinging too f straight out in front of me. I want to keep it in tight, right. It's going to have the same arc going up. And down. And the way I do that by falling back in my hips, create that space, and they come back. So my hips will come back and forward. And if you want to, right, you could really lift, you lift up that heel to kind of push back, right, to get that acceleration pull and come back. As far and then some people they'll push back, you lift that heel again to kind of push away as you fall back. It's kind of what you're comfortable with, but make sure we're working on dropping, right, pushing back. Get that connection here. Come up, keep it in close to the body, connect straight line up, not out here. And then makes that insertion, 11, back to here easy. So, right here, get a bell, right, start from the swing, hike back. Insert 11 and back. And I should be able to stop at that point, right? And right here, I come here, let it drop. Back up through. Make sure, right, we twist that elbow, right? Guiding it forward. Because I don't want it to come straight straight down overhand, right? Guided the bell down. You can see the same thing, right? Bell is angled across, not back. 
that nice insertion. So when I insert, right, that's where people have a whole lot of problem, right? That bell is floating. And so that's why as you're pulling back that 11, I want to insert before it gets to 12, right? If you wait until it gets to 12, you get that nice bang every time, right? But also too, if you're going too far out. So keep it in, right? And the snatch, keep it in here. So I can insert through, coming back. <laughs> Another thing is too, make sure not a death grip here, right? Hands relaxed on the, on the snatch. So with the snatch, right? From the swing, right? At seven o'clock, the acceleration pull, right? This is where we're falling back, right? Fall back. I come to 11, I insert through, guide it back to 12, right? Then I'm turning that shoulder, right? Same thing, so turn that, so palm up, guiding it down, goes back, into your back swing here, you get the power of the hips, seven, and through, right? Acceleration pull is gonna be huge for directing it close to your body, so you get a good insertion right here, at 11, up here, at the same time, right, we want to deflect so we get a good connection on the way down. We're dropping straight down, right, it's just going to pull here and then wrench, wrench in on the lower back. All right, so that is your snatch.